Mean and median using your calculator, lesson 16D. We have 16 A, B, and C, and they're linked in this description if you need them. We learned in video 16A how to calculate the mean or average of a set of numbers. We total all the numbers, then divide the sum by the amount of numbers we added together. To find a median, or middle number, we arrange the list of numbers in order from highest to lowest, or lowest to highest. It doesn't matter which one, as long as they're in size order. And we pick the middle number. Now this is easier when there's an odd amount of numbers, there will be a middle number. When there's an even amount of numbers, two numbers will be in the middle. Then we need to add them together and divide their sum by two to get their average. So we have to take those two middle numbers and find their average. And that will be the median for that entire list of numbers. I'll show you. Here we have an odd amount of numbers. We have five numbers. To find the mean using a calculator, we enter 22 plus 14 plus 38 plus 50 plus 17 equals division sign 5, because there's five numbers, and then equals. We'll get a 28.2. To find the median, we don't need a calculator. There's an odd amount of numbers, but we do need to put them into size order. See how the 17s back here? They're not really in size order. So we put them in size order either least to greatest or greatest to least. It doesn't matter. And there's an odd amount of numbers, so we just choose the middle number, a 22. See? It doesn't matter if you're least to greatest or greatest to least. The middle number is still going to be a 22. See that? Now I added a 29. To the group. So now there's an even amount of numbers. There's six of them. To find the median, we put them in size order and we see the two middle numbers, the 22 and 29. We add 22 plus sign 29. We hit equal. Then we hit division sign and then two and then we would hit equal. There'd be another equal back here. Okay. The median will come out as 25.5. So that's different, see? Because there was no middle number. There were two of them. So we just found the average of those two numbers by adding and adding them and then dividing by that two because that's the two numbers we added, okay? So here we've got a science test. There's four different science tests and four different scores. We can find the mean, the average score, by adding them all up. 88 plus 96 plus 95 plus 98. We hit equal, then division sign, then four because there's four numbers, and then equal again, and we get 94.25 as the average, the mean score. The median, these aren't in order. So we can put them in size order, doesn't matter which way. And we see the two numbers in the center because there's an even amount of numbers. We have to add the 95 plus 96, hit equal, and then division sign, and then 2 because there's two numbers. When we hit equal, we get a 95 and 5 tenths. That's different than the mean, isn't it? It doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes it could be the same, and I'll show you that too. This one says find the mean and median rounded to the nearest dollar. So here we have three incomes for three years. To find the mean, the average, we add them. We don't need the commas. We add 28150 plus 28932 plus 29710. We hit the equal sign. Then we hit the division sign. And because there's three numbers, we divide by three and hit equal. We're going to get this number, and the six is going to keep repeating. But it says to round it to the nearest dollar. So 66 cents is closer to a dollar than it is to zero. So we're going to round this zero up to a one, and we get $28,931 rounded to the nearest dollar. See? For the median, there's only three numbers, and they're already in size order. This is the smallest. That's the middle. That's the greatest. So we just pick that middle number. Now, sometimes the mean and median can be the same number. If we add 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 30 equals, we're going to get 100. And when we divide that by 5, we're going to get a 20. And there's five numbers here. They're in size order. And if you look at the middle number, it's a 20. So in this case, the mean and median were the same number. And that happens sometimes. All right? 
So they could be different numbers or they could even be the same number. So if you end up getting the same number, don't think you did something wrong, okay? Because sometimes that can happen, all right? If you're really unsure, just do it again and double check your work, all right? You should now be ready to do the skill focus on page 191. And just remember the median needs the numbers in size order first before you pick that middle number, okay? or find the average of the two middle numbers. Our next video is Tables and Charts. It's Lesson 17A. It's going to be a link to 7.3 from 6th grade where it talked about mean, median, and mode and all that. And I'm going to have those three previous videos for this lesson linked in this description. All right? So we're going to move on and start talking about tables and charts. There's going to be a lot of them on the GED math test. You want to make sure you know how to read them correctly. Okay? So I'll see you there. I hope you're doing okay. And until next time, bye.